Configuring TP-Link's TL-MR3040 in access point, repeater, and wireless internet service provider mode. The TL-MR3040 is a portable battery or USB-powered, 3G-4G wireless router designed to broadcast and allow users to share a single USB 3G-4G modem connection wirelessly. It has different modes of operation. In this video, we will configure our old TL-MR3040 in access point, wireless repeater, and wireless internet service provider mode in order to extend our internet connectivity. There are a few steps that we need to do before configuring the TL-MR3040 into any mode. We will connect our TL-MR3040 to our computer, using an Ethernet cable. Position the mode switch on TL-MR3040, to 3G to 4G mode. Now from a browser, login into its admin panel using its default IP address which is 192.168.0.1. You can find the default IP address of TL-MR3040 on its back side after you remove the back cover. In case you are not able to log into the admin panel then, reset your router by long pressing the hidden reset button on the device, using a toothpick, and then try logging in again. In case you were able to log into the admin panel without the need of pressing the reset button on the router, we will be resetting our router to factory defaults from here. This will basically do the same thing that the reset button did. So, skip this part if you have already reset your router. To set the router to factory defaults, click on System Tools. Then click on Factory Defaults. Now click the Restore button. If this pop-up pops up then, click OK. Your router is being set to factory defaults. This will remove all old configurations on your router if there are any. It is completed. Now we will modify the default IP address for this router. To do so, click on Network, then click on LAN. We will change this default IP address to something. Let us make this 2 instead of 1. Then click the Save button, to apply changes. Your router will reboot, to apply the setting. Now, this modification in IP address is done because most routers have this IP as their default IP. If the primary router also uses this default IP then, there will be a clash. So it's better to change the secondary router's default IP address. Once this reboot completes, we will be able to access TL-MR3040's admin panel with the new modified IP address. The reboot is completed, and see it is no longer 0.1, it is now 0.2. Let us check in LAN settings. See it is our modified IP address. So these were some preliminary settings that we have completed. Now let us log out, and see the configuration of our mentioned mode of operation one by one. First, we will see the configuration for access point mode. Change the mode switch on the TL-MR3040 router, to AP. From your browser, log into its admin panel. Click on Quick Setup. Click on the next button. Here select Access Point and click on Next. Here we need to provide an SSID name for this router's wireless network. We can give any name here. I am letting this default name as it is. Here, under security settings, we need to set a password. We can set any password, and it will be required to connect to this router's wireless network. I am leaving this predefined password as it is. Click next to continue. Click on the finish button. Our access point setting is done. Now disconnect the Ethernet cable connection between the computer and TL-MR3040. Connect TL-MR3040 to the primary router, using an Ethernet cable. You can use any LAN port from behind the primary router. Now let us connect to the SSID of TL-MR3040, using our Wi-Fi. We will need to put in the password that we have set. The connection is established. Let us check if we can access the internet or not. 
Yes, our internet is working. So, this is how TL-MR3040 can be configured to work as a secondary router in access point mode and use its wireless signal to extend the internet coverage area. Next, we are going to see the configuration for repeater mode. Connect TL-MR3040 to a computer via Ethernet cable. Make sure that you have carried out all the preliminary settings like setting the router to factory defaults and modifying the default IP address. We have covered them earlier in the video. For configuring the repeater mode, position the router's mode switch to AP, and then log into its admin panel from your browser. Click on, Quick Setup. Click the Next button. Select the repeater option here, and click Next. Here we have to provide the SSID of the primary router. To do so, click the Survey button. It will list out the names of available wireless signals in the range. This is my primary router's SSID name. Since the name is in the Greek alphabet, the router is unable to decode it correctly. Click Connect, next to the SSID name. Here, under Security Settings, we have to provide a password. The password should be the same as that of your primary router's SSID. You cannot put any other password here. Click Next to continue. We need to reboot our router for settings to take effect. Note that in repeater mode, the TL-MR3040 will have the same SSID as that of the primary router. It repeats and expands the wireless signal coverage of the primary router. Once the router is rebooted, we will no longer be able to log into TL-MR3040. Since my primary router is a little far, I generally receive its signal strength fluctuating between 52% and 36% in my room. But now with TL-MR3040 configured as a repeater, I get signal strength between 86% to 99% most of the time. Let us try connecting to the router and check the internet connection. Yes, the internet is working. Since TL-MR3040 is not designed to have external antennas, it does not have a long range. So, the signal strength still goes down sometimes, but for the rest of the time I do receive signal strength in the 80s. So this is how we can configure the repeater mode. Now we will see the WSP mode. This mode is just like a repeater mode, Except, here the TL-MR3040 can be given a different SSID name and a security password. Unlike the repeater mode, where the SSID and security password of TL-MR3040 was the same as that of the primary router. Connect the TL-MR3040 router to a computer. Make sure, the mode selection switch is positioned at WISP. Log into your router's admin panel. Complete all the preliminary settings like resetting the router to its factory default settings and changing its default IP address. We have already these covered it earlier in the video. Now click on Quick Setup. Click the Next button. Here we have to select our one connection type. This detail, you can find on your primary router's admin panel, or you can ask your ISP. But, in a majority of the cases, it is dynamic IP. You can try moving forward with the dynamic IP selected. Click Next to continue. Here, we are asked if we would like to clone the MAC address of the primary device. Sometimes ISP registers the MAC address of the device with your connection. So, in such cases changing devices will need re-registration of the new device with ISP, or we can clone the MAC address of the primary device to the new device. But in our case, we are configuring TL-MR3040 as a secondary router, so there should not be a need for cloning. So we will select the No option here. But if it doesn't work then, we can try reconfiguring this router with the cloning option. For now, we will select No, and click Next to continue. Under the client setting, we have to provide the SSID and password of your primary router. Click on the Survey button. The router will list all the available wireless networks in its range. Here, we will click Connect next to the name of the primary router's SSID. 
we will select the key type as WPA PSK WPA2 PSK. Now here in this password field, we will have to provide the password that we use to connect to our primary router's SSID. Under AP settings, the local SSID will be the identifier of TL-MR3040's wireless network. We can provide here any name. We will give the local SSID name, TL-MR3040. So in WISP mode, the secondary router has its own SSID name, unlike in the repeater mode. Click next to continue. We will need to reboot. As in WISP mode, this secondary router has its own SSID name, so it will need its own security password. Once the reboot completes, we will set its wireless security. The reboot is done. Click on wireless, then click wireless security. Here is the predefined password. You can modify it. I will keep it as it is, and click the save button. Now, the router needs to be rebooted. The reboot is completed, now let us try connecting to TL-MR3040's SSID. We will need to put the password here. It is connected. Let us connect the second Wi-Fi module too, as my laptop has two Wi-Fi modules. It is connected. Also, I will disconnect the Ethernet cable that we use to connect the TL-MR3040 with the computer, to do the configuration. It is disconnected. Both Wi-Fi modules are connected to TL-MR3040's SSID. Let us check the internet connection. The internet is working. So, this is how we can configure our old TP-Link TL-MR3040 to work as an internet connection range extender. If you liked the information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.